watching breakfast television after talking to students about the kinds of meals that they'd like to eat and then testing the recipes at three Ontario schools. Celebrity Chef Corbett is here to show us the signature recipes that he developed. You talk to the students. That I is so spoke to the people. That's so smart. Yes. Well, you know what? It was the whole the deal for this whole kind of partnership was that Chartwell's approached me and said, hey, do you want to do some work in our schools? Yes. And I said, absolutely, but under one condition. I need to speak to the kids because what sense would it make if I was just to go in and say, okay, eat, eat, this. eat this. It's like And like this. It's like, you know, your mom saying, eat that boiled spinach. So you kind you of... You don't want to do it. You talk to the kids and so what, they, what we, do they want to eat? So we did the focus groups and that's when we came up with these great ideas where they said, no, no, we want full flavor. We want spice. We want Mexican. We want big, bold, tasty foods. And that's when I said, this is going to be a piece of cake. All right. Or a piece of... Uh... What are we making? Oh my gosh, so this is just a sample <laughs> of some of the things that we're rolling out this September yeah. in 255 of the schools here in Ontario. Okay. So there's things like every child loves uh, Caesar salad. Every every kid loves Caesar, Caesar salad. Caesar salad is so bad for you. If you eat that every day, you would not live long. But it tastes so good. I know, because it's full of fat. <laughs> but it's okay every once in a while. It's got lettuce it in is. there. But this one, we, we did half romaine, half kale, and then did a healthy dressing with Greek yogurt. So it's okay then. This one is great. Can we eat that one every day? You could eat this every day. Pass that over after the show. What's this? Uh, this is just a simple slaw, but instead of a creamy dressing, we did with the light oil and vinegar, and then I put a little bit of punch of flavor in there with horseradish. And kids like this. Kids, I'm telling you. And then we did zucchini sticks. And when the kids were eating it, they're like, I love zucchini. Did you I fry these zucchini sticks? No, though? they look fried, but they're they baked. Do. They're baked? Baked. So what's around them then? A little bit of panko breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. And so it's it's good for you because they're yeah. baked. And they're crispy. And they're crispy. Oops, right okay, away. what's this right, right here? Away. Well, kids okay. love pasta too. Pasta, every kid loves and pasta. And, and this one is um, a healthy twist on it. It's a baked penny pasta, but it's got ground turkey. Oh. And spinach, really good for you. And then we put a little bit of sun-dried tomato in there and fresh sage. And the kids are just eating that up. Mowing it down like sheep to a field. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, what do we have here? And then this one, we wanted to get really whimsical and creative. Kids love, um, they love attractive food. So this is kind of like our food truck Thursday dish. And this okay. is the open-faced tostada. And it's a, instead of a fried corn tortilla, it's a uh -huh. baked flour tortilla. And it's just baked, no salt, no nothing, just plain. And then what we do is we put all these funky toppings on. So we actually we, do this at home. I guess lots of parents do this at yeah, home. And this is why the kids want it. But you've made, you've made it health, really healthy. And it looks very, that's one portion. It's substantial. And you got a little bit of rice with it too. Yeah, and kids and love rice. Side of rice. Okay, so, so let's make one right okay, now. Okay, so you're going to make one and I'm going to make yeah, one. Yeah, I am. Okay. So we got the base of the tortilla, mm -hmm. a little bit of shredded iceberg lettuce. Okay, there you go, so darling. Just do this, put that right on top. Kids are going to. The reason we put the lettuce is otherwise the tortilla gets soggy. Yeah. And you don't want a soggy tortilla. Okay. Okay. And then we've got some grilled chicken. Okay. This is chicken leg. It's got full flavor. It's got a little bit more moisture in it. What else can we put on if we don't want to use the chicken? We could put turkey on. You could do turkey. You could skip um, the meat altogether and put grilled fish. If you're a vegetarian, you don't or want you to eat just the do vegetables. Fish is great as yeah. well. Okay. Right. So here, well, you're ahead of me. Look at that. Now yeah. we put all our different toppings on. So we have black bean. A hummus on there. We've got Little a little black a sour bean. Cream. This is homemade, right here. Homemade. You could do this at home. Of course, you can do, how do this. How do you at make home. this black or go bean back sauce? To school. How do you make this? How do you? Yeah, exactly. That was the freaky part of this. Just go back to school. Was it going was, back to oh school. Oh my gosh, it was back in time. I what did like, you eat? What did you eat? I felt eat? like I needed my 501 button up, my metallic <laughs> T-shirt, and my tiny little mustache again. Oh, I remember it well. Did you have a mullet? I bet. A bit. And I've got a bit of a, the. The fro happening, oh, so it wasn't good. It wasn't that is good. Great. No one will ever see my high school pictures because they've been banned. <laughs> what did you eat when you were in high school in the cafeteria? Well, I, I had the fries and gravy. That we, was a big well, thing. You ate that slop that woman I, threw on the tray. Did you not eat that? Everybody did. Come on. That's why I'm so tall. And the chocolate chip cookies. And I, the, know. I know the food has changed Nobody over the years. But now, kids, this is to stop kids from gravitating to all the bad places. Exactly. We've Have changed. Them eat and eat healthy food because it is attractive for one and that was the whole thing is we want it to look good and taste good that's the first part mm -hmm. bit. and then by the way it just happens to be healthy yeah that's how you win kids over parents everybody where am i looking here yes don't tell them it's healthy because then they won't eat it tell that's them right. after they've eaten it that it's healthy just tell them it's bad for them and they'll yeah. gobble, it, gobble it up or do what i do with my two-year-olds don't eat that do not put that in your mouth what that's do they how do? i got my kids to brush their teeth don't brush their teeth if you keep doing that i'm going to punish you by not exactly. letting you brush your teeth before you go to bed it worked but this is a great um partnership with Chartwells. It's really getting kids to pay attention to what's going into their body, stay away from the bad foods, and stay in the school 
Mm -hmm. Eat healthy. Stay enjoy in school, life. Eat in the cafeteria. Things have changed. So we got a yeah. little bit of salsa. We get this is all good stuff right. for you. And then if you want a, sour cream. a little bit of okay. um, garnish on here, you put a little these crispy. This bits. will make it like nice these are, and little again, crunchy. These are again just baked tortillas. You can throw fresh cilantro on here, mm -hmm. fresh basil. You serve that with a side of rice, and then you get it. And okay. then and my all-time favorite thing in the whole entire world. This is. Guacamole. guacamole. This is fantastic. It's good to smear in your face oh, before you go to bed. Oh my goodness, you get a nice facial and then you can just lick it off. It works. Uh, but I have avocado, I think, every single day. Uh, this is the good fat. You don't want to eat the Are whole you thing. Eat that? I thought you were going to like. I, I could actually eat that whole bowl. I love guacamole. I wish uh, and sometimes I think I wish I lived there? somewhere where I could grow my own tree. And we put some jalapeno in there because the kids wanted spice. And when we, we did the sampling, we went into the three schools and we're doing all the actual, they were the guinea pigs tasting because yep. I was nervous. The things I heard were things like, I love kale. Who says I love kale? Kids. These kids. Kids. You know why? Because we've learned so much and, and parents are doing that kind of thing at home. And then when you eat it, then you do. You love kale. Oh, no. What do we have here? We didn't even talk about these guys. What, what is that? What these are those guys? These could poke your eyes out. These are crispy, crunchy chicken bites. Mm -hmm. Say that fast ten times. Crispy, crunchy chicken bites. Crispy, crunchy <laughs> chicken bites. Crispy, crunchy chicken bites. Good, good, good. These are uh, chicken breasts on a skewer mm -hmm. um, coated with uh, vegetable chips. Oh. And then you bake them in the oven. So you bake them again. So you're fooling yeah. the kids because Nothing you think they're fried. What I all the deep fryers are gone. We don't need them. We don't need them. They're there gone. you go. You we got want. This. Okay, so for more information, people can go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Can we eat these where they cooked this morning? I hope Is that so. okay? Yeah, we can. <laughs> I don't know. I never know. Oh, I always delicious. ask. Is this display food or can this is really good. This is very good. Chips on chicken. Mm. I don't want to talk with my mouth full, but breakfasttelevision.ca for all the information. Thank you so much. You've done a great job, Thank Chef you. Corbin. Follow him at Chef Corbin. Taking a break. We'll see you with more Breakfast Television after this. Delicious. I'm going back to school. See you.